Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Dewar's Scratch Cask. Now, this is a no-age statement, 40% ABV, but what's different about this one versus your normal Dewar's is that it is finished in American oak casks that are charred and scratched up to bring out some of those deeper wood tannins of those barrels to alter the flavor. Now, I've been doing a lot of Dewards, and I'll link some ab up above and down below. Uh, the interesting thing was, this was a random bottle I found on a shelf, and it, and it came out about five or six years ago, and it's just been sitting on somebody's shelf. So it was one of those things, I'm like, that sounds interesting enough, I'm gonna give it a try. So as always, we're gonna be trying it two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a couple drops of water, see if anything changes up. I haven't personally gotten to try this one yet, ahead of time. Usually I try to taste things ahead of time to kind of get an idea. And there's really not a lot of reviews out there on this one. There's some, there's a few, but not a lot. Um, some things about Dewards, I love their bottles. They're all the same. Um, I, I've got like five or six different Dewards right now, especially in their different cask series. So it's just one of those things that I've been just loving what Dewards can do in that budget price range. Very light, golden, very hay. Dark, a little darker hay. I'll take it a little bit darker. Let's go for our notes. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a bit of that, that multi funkiness that Dewards has, that blended scotch funkiness. But very sweet. I get a lot of honey on there. Vanilla sweetness. But it, honestly, at least on the nose, doesn't smell too crazy different from standard Dewart's. Just got that nice little honey note going on there, though. Hmm. And that nice vanilla. I'm also getting kind of just a light fruit note. I wouldn't know if anything specifically standing out on it, but a little bit of fruit. Go for taste. Wow. Wow. That is charry. Really ashy. Wow. That is, that is crazy. So instantly, it was, it's almost, it, it, it's, it's, I recently uh, did a, some, a log of Olin tasting. And it's like, I'm like having flashbacks to Lagavulin. The the earthiness that that scratch cast brought in, holy crap. Very much earthy smoky notes going on. Oh, that is so good. I'm, I'm shocked. Like, it, it's got that that ashy charry taste to it, earthiness, and this beautiful smoke. It's not super heavy. It's not quite like a campfire, but just I think campfire is the closest I could put to it. Just a nice, lightly smoking campfire note. But that earthiness that's with that that. Uh, like that peating, it's got like a, a solid peatiness to it. Wow, that vanilla is still showing up a little bit, a little bit of fruit on the note on there as well, on just just a little bit. I love that earthiness that it's bringing. That scratch cask really, I was not expecting that. The nose was just kind of. Standard, but very much. Very, if you, if I wouldn't have known this was a blended scotch from Dewards, I would have guessed this was either this is some kind of smoky peaty scotch, like um, just some unknown one that I haven't tasted yet. It's not quite Ardbeg or Lafroy or Lagavulin, but it's it's creeping on those notes for it. Wow, that is so good. I love that peatiness in there. Mm. 
Now I'm curious, like, is this going to change it? How is this going to change it? Is it going to change it? So let's find out. I'll add a little water in there. It honestly has kind of gone mute on the nose. Like, this wasn't too complex. But I'm getting more, this is gone. Like, just a little, almost Irish. I'm almost getting now, like, apple notes. Get a little bit of that Dewar's funkiness to it, but I'm getting almost like a light, just a light green apple. Not super crazy, it's light green apple. Let's go for taste. Lost the smoke note, but it's got that peatiness, earthiness, a little bit of char going on there. Wow. Finishes a little shorter, but it's got that earthy peatiness left over here. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Like, I honestly did not expect this from this bottle. I picked it up on a whim. But this is like... I, I wish I could say that I could find this all the time. I would keep this on the shelf already. I'm not even in that section of the video. But this is so unique because of its flavor profile. My brain is thinking I'm drinking one of my favorites like Ardbag or but it's it's it would be like if Ardbag was toned down and not just in flavor this overall flavors like not as complex or crazy that's what I'm getting beautiful Pete nice with the water it pulls back on that smoke you're getting a little sweetness though a little vanilla that apple is showing up a little stronger wow I am just floored. Okay, let's talk about market price because market price is market price. I have never seen this on the shelf again. Uh, I think it was released in like 2014, 2015, if I remember my readings right. I paid $27 for it. And after tasting this, I have no regrets on that. Uh, I've not seen it really online many places. A few places referenced it up in the 30s-ish. Uh, as Dewards goes, it likes, it seems to like to stay in that, that budget area of, you know, sub thirties. I have, if you can find this, A, I would recommend it. it. I would, after tasting it, I would easily pay $40 for this. Like this would be a great alternative if I was out of Ardbag or something like that. This would be a great alternative in my opinion. So yeah, <laughs> there you have it. Dewards scratch cask a amazing bottle i am so happy with that one if you have any questions about it let me know down in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer it and if you have any specific spirits i should take a look at also let me know down in the comment section below i'm always on the hunt for something different and fun and something cool to try and as always may your last drink of the night be the best one